think it's live. Let's see. There we go. Hello, everybody. Welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. In tonight's video, I'm going to be sharing with you four items that I picked up at a garage sale yesterday that I will be able to flip for probably around $400 total. And this isn't everything that I picked up from the garage sale. I did pick up a few other things that are probably going to be still a good profit but lower priced items but I thought I would share with you four of the things that I picked up and dive deeper into why I picked them up and share with you the the research that I did to come up with the prices that I have chosen so let me um, say hello and welcome I have a lot of new subscribers and I'm so grateful that you have uh, chosen to spend your time watching my videos and coming over and subscribing to my channel it means a lot and I hope that uh, you are are getting something out of it so uh, welcome and I am live this evening so um, hello everybody who is live I'll if you have questions definitely drop them in the chat and I'm going to try to save that towards the end unless I see something that has to do with what we're talking about and I have had a few friends say but we missed the live chat where you're talking to us I still am planning on doing that um, I have some jewelry some jewelry jars recently and I have a few lots so I definitely am still going to be doing that I just need to figure out a schedule as far as that goes um, to to still fulfill that because I miss doing that as well okay so let me um, jump over I went yesterday I only went out for about two hours uh, because I had to be back at home by nine uh, for various reasons but I found some really good things so let me flip over and share with you. You know what? I'll share with you the first thing now. The This garage sale, actually, I think all of this came from the same garage sale, um, even though I got more from others. Um, I, the first item is this chess challenger game. And it says I spent $5 on it, but they cut me a deal. So it probably ended up being about $2 once I averaged everything out. So um, this is complete. I do need to test it. But it is a vintage, you know, you play the chess, you play the computer type game. And uh, I see some up on eBay, Etsy um, that are sold, some are not sold. Um, but mine has the box. And one other thing that I noticed is that I think there might have been one that had a video. So I would definitely take a video of the game working, maybe me playing the game to insert into the eBay listing. So there's that, and if you're interested in, in finding out how to do that, I've got a video for it, of course. <laughs> All right, uh, so I probably spent about $2 on that, so let me flip over so you guys can see. Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for coming. I'm so glad you're here in the chat. Um, okay, so I need to find my... There it is. Okay, so these are the ones on Etsy, and I, I get on my soapbox. Hang on, my thing looks funny. I'm not centered. Maybe it's just me that's not picky about that. There we go. Okay. Um, I talk about this because I sometimes get comments saying, you know, oh, these aren't sold. How can you, you know, you can put whatever you want on it, but it doesn't count till it's sold. Um, but I, the way I price my items, and I've been doing it since the beginning, is I use eBay sold as a tool. I don't necessarily use that as the be-all, end-all as far as what I price my items at. I look at Google Shopping, I look at, because Google Shopping will show you PickLick and Ruby Lane and eBay and Etsy, it shows you all kinds of stuff. Um, so I look there, I look at Etsy, I look at eBay, and then I kind of take a big ball of dough and smoosh it all together and come up with a number that I like. That's just the way I do it, works for me. Okay. All right, let me see. Let me move my chat over here a little bit. Um, okay, so these are the ones that are on Etsy. And as you can see, there's not a whole lot of them up there. Uh, there are five, but only, it looks like only two of them are like mine. And one of them is around $30. The other one's around $50. I think I'm going to be pricing mine closer to the $50 range. One, because I let... I like to price higher um, because on eBay I'll do best offer and two it because I not to sound sorry I don't want it to sound bad but I take good pictures I make sure that my item looks good and a picture can really sell your items so 
having really good pictures of your items can increase the value, which sounds weird, but it's true. Um, somebody would probably rather buy something from a seller that has nice looking pictures than not. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, it took me a long time to get so I could feel like I can say that I take good pictures now without, without it being arrogant or anything like that because it took me a long time to learn it. I worked really hard <laughs> to figure out how to do it. Okay, so here we are over in the, uh, this is eBay. I'm, I'm scrolling up to see if these are sold or, yeah, these are sold on eBay. I filtered out the auction ones, so these are just the buy it now ones. And again, some are um, lower priced, but uh, this one is not complete. It doesn't have all the pieces. It doesn't have the box. Here's one that sold for $30. Again, it's missing a night. And um, so, yeah, mine has got like all the directions. It's got the all the pieces. It's got all the stuff. So I will definitely be pricing mine. Hang on. I, I had it scrolled all the way down for a reason because there were ones that were like mine. Um, so this one, it looks like around $25, bucks, 30 bucks. I still think I'm going to probably put mine up for in the $45 to $50 range, get a video of it in there. Another good thing is you guys that are selling on eBay and Etsy, and if you have stuff, like you'll see every now and then I'll post videos of products. If you have a YouTube channel, this is, this is a money-making tip because that's what we're doing, right? So I know it takes time to get uh, monetized on YouTube, but it's worth starting because you've got to start somewhere, right? If you are selling on on eBay or Etsy, these things that you put videos up for products, one of one of my top videos is like a dehydrator. Um, I have an, another, you know, people still go and watch. It's like a top, you know, you push it down and it's spins around, um, but it's got like thousands of views. So it may not bring in a lot of money, but you know, it brings in a little bit of money. So whenever I have items like that, I make sure that I, um, I put the video up and then I just leave it up. If it's, if once the item sells, the video stays up and you know, I can just take off the little eBay listing link on there and every now and then I'll get a comment saying, is this for sale somewhere? Oh, it's already sold. Uh, but if you, you know, you got to start somewhere, I definitely did. Uh, so, so yeah. And then, so even after the item sells, it can still bring in, you know, a little bit of money after the fact, even if it's just like five bucks a year, I don't know. You got 20 items up there at five bucks a year. Come on. That's like, I don't know, almost 10 bucks a month. So not too bad, right? Okay. So this is going to go up for about about 45 to 50 dollars and I'm looking real quick in the chat because I see some people mentioning this um, da, 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 da. if one wants to do YouTube videos what phone or camera to buy um, I I use I have a camera that I use sometimes but I mostly just use my iPhone and then my right now like I'm on my comp my laptop so I'm just using the little camera that's in my laptop um, but I do use my 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 camera camera when I'm like shooting videos that are facing down, not live, because my camera doesn't do that. So you could do it totally on the cheap for sure. Um, and then as far as my pictures too, and I just shot a video today about how I take my pictures. I have a couple others, but I'm going to be putting that one up this week. So I'm going to be in Houston this week, so I'm excited about that. So I was getting all my videos ready for this week for you guys. Okay. <laughs> so, okay, this is, you know, like I say, I go in and I do the Google search as well. So these were some of the things that popped up on the Google search. Okay. So the next item that I got from the same garage sale, I'm saving the best for last, by the way. You're like, wait a minute, Margaret, you said like 400 bucks. Yeah, I spent about $10 and I think I'm going to be able to make about 400 bucks. This is not looking like 400 bucks, right? So my big, I'm saving my big boy for the end. Um, so the next item that I picked up, and I've talked about picking up figurines of animals and stuff before, is this copper, and it's probably copper over brass um, because it's pretty hard. And it's a little cocker spaniel, and I paid about a dollar for it. 
at the same garage sale. And he's, you know, he's a good size, little cocker spaniel, pretty cute. And again, I see a few different ones. I only see two of this exact one up. So if I just go off of, you know, eBay, like there's one up for $14, then I might think like, oh, you know, it's an okay one. But um, as I look, I see some other ones that are up there. Not the same Cocker Spaniel, but people love their breeds, like of dogs, of, you know, I showed you, I think I showed you guys a hippo the other day, a little wooden carved hippo. People love their animals, right? And so, as you can see, there are some other ones up there that are, you know, 30 bucks, 55 bucks, just kind of depending on what it, you know, what it looks like, the quality, and this one's pretty cute, so... The same one, so this one, and then there's one up on Etsy, and this one is up for $37.99 on sale. So originally $43.99. So I'm probably going to put mine around $30 uh, because these are sold on eBay. And my guy, again, is not there, but look, you've got, I'm not going to sell them for 5 bucks. I don't do auctions, so skip that one. Um, this one is $35. Free shipping. I don't do free shipping. And then here's one. 1950 with $11.20 shipping. It's a lot of shipping. I don't know how heavy that thing is. So, well, it says it's a paperweight, so maybe it's heavier than mine. But mine is not quite a pound, so I could probably, I don't know, it's close. So, I might, you know, it might be like seven bucks if I put it in a, put it in a padded flat rate, throw it across the room. Okay. Um, but I probably would sell it in a padded flat rate because it would fit in a six by four by four. And then I'd just shove that. Right in the padded flat rate. So I will probably put this up for around $30. $30. And so what does that equal so far? If I sell that one for $40, we'll round it down to $40 on the chess game. That's like $70, bucks, right? Okay. The next item just fell over. Excuse me. Let's see. Okay. I have got to say, first of all, thank you to, I think it was Deanne or Diane. Oh, I've got to say the name wrong. Um, for helping me with a worth point lookup today. And I I go back and forth about using or getting worth point, but the thing is that I probably only use it maybe, or things pop up maybe twice a year that I'm like, oh darn, I wish I had that, you know? And so I just go ask somebody. But today I had two items that I'm like, oh, they're both on worth point. So, mm hmm. All right, so the next item that I've got, I just got it because I'd never seen one before. Hang on, let me get where I can see my chat too. The next um, item is this Domino Scorekeeper. The box is just, I mean, if you hadn't opened the box, you may not have even. So when you open it up, it looks like this. And it looks like these little tiny abacus type things, but these are two little scorekeepers for cards or other games or whatever. And you might, you know, just think like, yeah, maybe, whatever. Um, so I paid about a buck for this. And let's take a peek at what I found out. Some uh, some friends in the chat are, are throwing out other dog names. So that, that's good because then I can put, you know, if it's a similar type breed, can add that on there. Okay, so the f two of um, the, the exact ones that I've got, I couldn't find ones with prices. But I found on worth point two of them. One open and one new and sealed, um, so I have no idea what they sold for. <laughs> um, one was on eBay, and one that yeah, was on eBay too. Um, and then I found another one that's pretty similar to mine. The beads are a little bit different. That sold on um, Ruby Lane. This is why I search on Google um, Shopping stuff. And right here, you can see where it says six twenty six dollars. Um, but when I go to Ruby Lane and follow that link, it's sold. So. Uh, I'm going with that price. That probably it sold around twenty-six dollars because I see it keeps sliding. Um, a couple others like on on Etsy, these are the only ones up there. There's one that's up there for thirty. There's one up there for thirty-five. Then there's a couple of like fancy ones which I'm not even gonna go there. And then on solds on eBay, I mean they're selling pretty regularly, right around twenty twenty-five. In that you know there's a couple for fifteen in that price range. So I think it's pretty fair, you know, for me to put mine up for about $25. I've got the box, I've got the little paperwork that came with it. Um, so I feel pretty confident putting it up at that price, around $25. Um, 
Hang on, I'm looking in the chat. <laughs> okay. So, sure, send me some. <laughs> All right. Oh, oops. I just gave it away. All right. So, that adds on another $20, $25 in that range. So, the, net, the last thing I got, I actually got them to come down on price, which I probably didn't even have to. Chances are likely I would have bought it anyway. Um, and it's this, in case of fire, open door, pull hook, way left, blah, blah, blah. And I got this for $6. I would have I would have paid the full price. But when I asked, like, is that is this price uh, firm, uh, before we even got back and forth, she picked up the phone to call, because I guess it was her son's. And so she, she got on the phone to call her son to ask how much she could come down. Um, and so they decided $6. So I was like, yeah, okay. <laughs> $6 it is. So what this is, is um, it would go on the wall, and it's a, a wired to the fire alarm system. And you open it. It's kind of hard to open. I'm going to pop a nail off. Oh, there we go. Um, so, and then... You would pull the little latch out like so, and then you bring this down. I'm I'm gonna make a video of it. It makes noise. It doesn't make the alarm sound because I think this just kind of like is a timer type thing, like how long you want the alarm to go off. This long, this long, this long, or something like. That. I think that has because then this when you pull it down, it makes like a clicking noise, click, 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 click. You know where it's sending the signal to the alarms, right? Um, so. I'll have to, here's the thing though, I couldn't find this exact one. And that, you know, makes me want to price it higher. So I, I did see some from this company, Federal Enterprises, but the ones that I saw that were going for really high prices were from another company. So I had to kind of figure out what I wanted to price it at. And duh, duh, I'm probably going to price this around $350. So I might be out of my mind, but that's what I'm going to do. And, oh, did I close that out? I did. Um, because I, and this is the item that I asked, I'm sorry if I'm saying your name right, I think it was Deanne, to, um, and she checked it out for me, and as you can see here, worth point. Because there were only one or two that were like the same as mine, or the same company as mine. I could not find one exactly like mine. Federal Enterprise was the one that my company is. And there's one that is from another company that was, uh, they go for a lot of money. But this one went for about $40, $45. Uh, and this one, look, this one is listed for $375. Mine is not as fancy as this one, but mine I can't find and it's in really, really good, like the door is in really good shape. The slides are kind of messed up, but I think that's okay. The door's pretty, in pretty good shape, too. So, um, let me share with you what else I saw. So, here's this one that's up on Etsy, Gamewell. That's the other one that there's a bunch of those up there, but they're all like $200, $300, $400. So, I, and I think mine's pretty cool. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'm biased, probably. But I'm probably going to end up listing mine for, for probably around the $350 mark. And once again, I'm going to make a video, um, you know, showing, you know, opening it, closing it, the little, whatever that thing is, the little alarm, um, and just going all over it and sharing what it is, all the features and everything like that. So I'm pretty excited about that one. And I wasn't sure when I got it what it was going to go for, which is another reason I was like, oh, can I get it for any cheaper? Plus, I only brought out like 40 bucks with me yesterday, so I didn't have that much money. And um, so, yeah, I will definitely, obviously, I will let you know how it does. But I'm pretty excited about it and to see how it's going to, how it's going to go. So, let's see. Let me go ahead and close that stuff out. And say hey over in the chat. Hello, everybody. Thank you for coming. I'm going to look and see if I've got any any questions or anything. Oh, good, good. You can see me. And I, I didn't see, I don't see any major questions in there. 
Oh, what's the average, Jenny's asking, what is the average wait time for an item to sell? It just kind of depends. Like, I've got some things <laughs> that sell, have sold pretty quickly, like some of my Star Wars items. I also have a lot of things that are a long tail. So some people, it just depends on your business model. Like, some people really want a really quick turnover, and so they're willing to maybe make sure they only buy things that will sell quickly, or they'll price their items a little bit lower to make them sell quickly. And I I kind of have a mix of both. So I've got things that I have had listed for a long time. And then I have things that turn over pretty quickly. And then with the mix of both of them, it, it works out great for us. So, and let's see. Carmen says, what you list it for is not what you might get, get it for. It. Well, yes. I don't know if you heard me at the beginning of the video. Maybe you just came in. Um, but generally, what I list it for is, is, is what I get it for. Or I'll put a um, best offer on it. And then I can put a, a window of the prices that I would like to get. So let's say I list it for $350. And I put a best offer on it of, you know, I'll say, you know, I won't, it'll automatically decline any offers under $300 and or or automatically accept offers above 325 or something like that. So you can definitely set that up. And yeah, so I don't have a problem doing that. I prefer having a best offer. That way buyers feel like they're getting a better deal. I tend to price high anyway. And so yeah, that's what I do. And it's been working for me for uh, six years or so. So <laughs> I'm, I'm totally on board with, with what I do, obviously. Okay, um, so yeah, this is my big score right here. And <laughs> Debbie says, don't forget to take off the sticker. I won't. I'm going to take it off, and I'm going to take a picture of it for the thumbnail for this video. Because, here, let's take it off and make sure there's not, like, a gold doubloon underneath it or something like that. Um, Hello, Maggie. How are you? And um, thank you for throwing out, let's see, Cindy and Fern in the chat earlier were throwing out ideas for other dog breeds that it might, the dog might be a Cocker Spaniel or a Brittany Spaniel or maybe a Red Point. Um, let's see, my cozy nest with Rebecca is asking, have you ever been scammed? Uh, were they return and the items, and it's not the item you sold to the person? Um... I'm trying to think. I have had been scammed early, early on, and part of it was my fault because I just there were red flags that I didn't know to be on the lookout for. I sold an iPhone, and it was going to like Syria or something like that, like huge red flag. There was no tracking. It was just weird, and I that was when I got on the global shipping program for a long time. I don't do global shipping anymore, um, but I think I mean people are out there. You, you still get the people that, you know, they try to say, you know, that they'll email you after they get the item and start nitpicking things, hoping you'll give them a partial refund or something like that. You get stuff like that every now and then, and you just have to decide, like, is it worth this? Or do I just like, ugh, whatever, just here. I don't want to have to deal with that. I feel like that did happen recently. But um, my time is worth more than whatever... Sometimes the item is, sorry, that watch goes off and I can't find it. Um, I'm trying to think of what it was, because that did happen recently. And I ended up just, oh, it was for something else on merch. <laughs> Never mind. I remember now, because I was like, I could fight this girl. She thought I had copied, not her shirt, not her, but it was a, a word. Anyway, and she was mad. She was like, that, I'm the author of that word. I'm like, what? Anyway, <laughs> so we had a little bit of a back and forth and I just decided you know what I could fight this because it's a word and it's not worth my time honestly like how many shirts am I gonna sell to make up for the time and energy and effort and stress that I would put into like fighting it which is kind of dumb um, so it happens it's the nature of the business and it's unfortunate but you just kinda have to prepare for that you know and and eBay I hope they've been getting better. That's what I was just say. I hope they've been getting better about about that. But that's why when you're, you know, when you take your pictures, when you describe your item, um, you know, definitely under promise, over deliver. Take a ton of really good pictures and uh, keep your 
keep your conversations with buyers professional, <laughs> you know. Imagine that the lawyer is coming to read this and, you know, the judge or whatever and decide who, who's, who's the one that they should believe. Anyway, okay, you guys, I'm glad that you guys came and I, like I said, I'm going to be going to Houston. I'm so excited about this because we're going to go to the penguin encounter for uh, one of my kiddos really loves penguins. So we're going to the penguin encounter as our back to school kickoff, you know, and, um, yeah, so I will not be able to list this till I get back, unless I take pictures tonight, which is not going to happen. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, go down there. If you're new, leave me a comment and just say, hello, this is, I'm new to your channel, and I'll say, thanks for coming. Welcome, and I will talk to you um, in a while. In a while. Oh, sorry, I was reading, no, oh, in a while. Uh, Tiffany says, I have not seen ephemera here, so you, you're branching out. Yeah, I, I am. I don't know if you're talking to me or somebody else in the chat. Um, but yeah, I am because I've been doing jewelry for so long. But I need things. A lot of times jewelry will sit a little longer. And before, that worked for me as far as what was going on, as far as the amount of money I needed. But now I need more money. Um, so I'm just going to be straight about that. I need to make more money, so I've got to sell a wider variety of items. That's that. So, all right. And, oh, okay. Okay is asking, uh, I'm still confused about international shipping. Can you please do a video about that? And I know some things can't be sent to certain countries. Yeah, I, I can do my best about that. I can just show you what I do. And then I think... I'm guessing that the countries just kind of block out what they can't, what can't go there, or like whenever it pops up, like the customs will say, like, you can't send that there. I think so. All right. Okay. I am glad that you guys came. Thanks for coming. I never did go see how many friends are here, but go down there and leave a thumbs up, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye, everybody.